No Name Woman by Maxine Hung Kingston, movie by Gabby Duchesne. The No Name Woman is a tale of a woman who resides in China. Her husband is off overseas and she has not seen him since their arranged marriage. The woman is raped and finds herself pregnant. She is shunned by the villagers and by her family for having an affair. She cannot defend herself because of the patriarchal culture which will favor her rapist. Even though she was raped, she still suffers all the consequences and can't even cry out against her rapist. Her family even forces her to sit at an outcast table every time they eat. On the day her baby is due, all of the villagers, including her rapist, come and raid her house. Even her family curses her for the misfortune and shame she has brought onto them. The villagers ransack her house and kill all the animals on the farm. The woman is forced to run away and gives birth in the family pig pen all alone. The baby is far better than the woman could have ever imagined. She dreams of a happy future for it. Unfortunately, she is fully aware that the baby is cursed to live a horrible life because of her misfortunes. With a heavy heart, the woman realizes there's nothing she can do. She plans to jump in the family well with her baby before sunrise. Committing suicide in the well is considered spiteful because it ruins the drinking water. After her death, the family retaliates against the woman by agreeing to never speak of her again, therefore forgetting her. In Chinese culture, this is considered one of the worst punishments. She is not even given a tombstone with her name on it. This story is a prime example of patriarchy's effect on rape culture in China. Because even though the woman was raped, she is still held accountable by her society's patriarchal values. She was literally shunned by everyone, including her parents, and with nowhere to run and no one to protect her, the woman is forced to commit suicide. Created using Powtoon.